All right. So I was on finish line, looking at the shoes they got on there. I went to the running shoes because I was kind of kind of curious to see what they got on there, what kind of deals I might be able to get. And I saw this shoe, the Nike Fly Knit One, right? This shoe has a hundred and seventy dollar price tag, which I think is completely ridiculous for this shoe. The only thing special about this shoe is they it's a new mesh material right here. And that's stupid. That's not worth another, what is it? Okay, I have this shoe. This just has the same type of like midsole on it and everything. And then it's got the kind of mesh upper. It's not this type of mesh upper, but it's still a mesh upper. And this shoe cost brand new, like the retail suggested price, $85, right? This shoe is twice that almost. And that, and like pretty much, if you think about it, that's the exact same shoe, but they want twice as much for this. Then I went to the basketball shoes, and I noticed some. It's even getting worse with basketball shoes. Okay, here's the Jordan 28 right here. Okay, Let's zoom in. This has a $250 price tag for this shoe. This shoe is hideous. That shoe is not going to sell because of how ugly it is. And it's going to go down as kind of like the Jordan 15 that no one likes. Okay? And then, I mean, there's even more. Okay, we got the Jordan 3 right here. This is the one that has Nike Air on the back. They wanted $200 for that. That same shoe came out two years ago, I believe. And that shoe cost $150. Okay? The Jordan 11. This shoe, when it came out. $125 I want to say and now they want $185 for it and the one that just gets me is the LeBron $199 for this LeBron the lowest they're going to go is $179 which another thing is why is this shoe more expensive than this shoe this is the exact same shoe isn't it and then we got this the Jordan 13. The Jordan 13 is a better performance basketball shoe than the Jordan 11. So this has zoom and everything in it. It has a better fit. And this is an, and it's a good shoe, but it's got the clear midsole on it, which is yellow. Which I don't get why people are so obsessed with the 11. If we keep scrolling through, like all these shoes, the prices on them are just stupid. Just a Hyper Dunk. $160 for a Hyper Dunk. Hyper Dunk when it came out was $125. And there's nothing special about this shoe. And just like, here's just another kind of little example that I noticed. Jordan 4 comes out. I believe they were, let's see if I can find them. I'm pretty sure they were like $150, $160 for a pair of Jordan 4s. Right. All right, 160 for this pair. These are the Thunder Fours, 160 dollars. Okay. Now, the Jordan Four has this type of midsole. It's got kind of like this bump here. It goes all the way on the bottom. Air bubble, right? Exact same one found in this shoe, the Men's Air Flight 89. This one is 94 dollars. How is there a $70 difference when this has, this is like got leather and all that, like the same exact materials to make this shoe? How is there that much of a difference? There's only, in my opinion, there's only one shoe that deserves like a really high price tag. And that, that's the foam pocket. Okay? This shoe has to be made to mold, has to like, you have to mold it and everything. Everyone knows that. And it's just kind of just like not a conventional shoe at all. Okay? That shoe can be $200. So that's kind of my little rant about the prices Nike's putting on these shoes. And I'm looking for Nike's sales because I've been watching their stock a little bit. Their stock has been. It started off, it was going, going. Let's just look it up really quick. But their stock has been skyrocketing recently.
Nike stock. Okay. I'm looking for images. Maybe images will have it. Well, anyway, I have. I looked it up a while ago, and their stock was flying. It was going up and up and up. I just want to grab, grab, grab. All right, forget this. But their stock, I'm going to keep watching it, and I expect with these prices on it that it's going to take a hit. Because I think they're going to start losing sales. They're not going to dominate the market like they should. So that's kind of my little rant on this. Be sure to leave a comment telling me if you feel the same way I feel. Well, if you feel, then I'm just completely retarded for feeling this way, okay? And that's all I need to say. So be sure to subscribe to the channel.